in the spirit of no makeup, I'm going to do this video with no makeup today because lately I've been obsessed with looking very, very beautiful. Um, lately I've been on this new adventure to just perfect my beauty and my makeup. Well, I'm not perfect. I am not flawless and um, I have wrinkles under my eyes um, and uh, freckles on my face and bumps on my face and bam, but this is me. Um, it's been getting kind of exhausting. I've been thinking about everything is just not always greener on the other side. I like wearing makeup, don't get me wrong, but sometimes things are better left alone. Um, better if you were into natural beauty, just stay right there. I know you look at all these other people online and they perfect, but just stay right there. Sometimes the makeup will mess up your skin and you start feeling insecure once you get into stuff like that. And beauty is vain. It's all vanity, you know what I mean? But right now, I'm kind of wanting to put a little bit on. But, um... It's not, a, it's not a necessity. It's, it's just not. Um, so I came on here because I had a dream the other night. I had a dream uh, like either last night or the night before. And my dream was, if I could do, if I could kind of make this a little brighter because it looked a little dark. Hold on. Yeah. It was a little dark. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. But my dream was this. Uh to get my hair late so it was like it was war and um so i don't know if it was like america or whoever now don't pay attention to my nails because my nails ain't done it was like america fighting somebody else i'm thinking it was america because it was like troops and these were like the good troops and i kind of was like on this side of the troops and I was just like observing, but I wasn't in the war, but I was literally right there with them watching. And it was like, whoever these soldiers were, I was like on that, on their side, I was watching them and they were winning. I mean, they was killing all the enemies. They was doing good. And then all of a sudden I, we was doing good. I mean, they was, I don't know, they was smiling or something, but they was like, we was literally in war and we was, they was killing the bad guys and the opposite team. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this big robot came, a huge, big, scary robot just stepped in the picture. And I was like, oh, snap. And the robot took the person, I don't know if it was a person that was just winning and I think he killed them, like picked them up and killed them. But I know it was two soldiers right here. I was looking at both of them and they thought it was funny at first. Like they was winning, they was feeling good. They were smiling and stuff. It was funny. But then the robot picked up one of the soldiers and like picked him up. I don't know if he threw his head off and then threw him over there. And then the other soldier was looking at him and he still was looking, thinking it was a game or something. And then the robot picked him up and then took him over here and then threw his head off and then rolled the head and I was just looking like, I, I was just looking like, what, the robot came out of nowhere, I'm telling you, decide, America, whoever they were, they was winning, I think I, I was observing, I was just in there observing, like, but I wasn't a part of it, but I was just observing it, and they was just, you know, smiling and laughing and winning, but whoever this opposite team was, whoever this country was, they was fighting, or whoever these people was, they had a secret weapon, and this secret weapon came out in a big old huge, maybe... 100 foot 60 foot robot the robot was big and huge literally like some you would see on the movie and it was scary because i was like what the heck we was winning and i'm just observing it so it was like i was there but i wasn't there like i was having an open vision or something or maybe the robot just didn't touch me because i was with them and i was for that team they was winning but then they thought it was game now all of a sudden this robot their secret weapon came out he just started like taking these American soldiers or whoever the good force was and killing them. And uh, he taking heads off and then throwing the other body. And then I remember he threw the second soldiers who thought it was a game after he had just saw the other soldier get killed by the robot. He was still kind of looking and smiling. or I guess they were thinking it was a game. And he picked him up, took his body over here and then threw his head over here. And as his head was coming, he was like, ah, and then his head fell. And I'm just looking. And then I think it like switched to a different part of the dream or something like that. Um me and this dude or something i don't know if we were hiding or something but what i want to tell y'all is um sometimes we think we take things for granted especially in america we take a lot of things for granted god has truly been great to this nation but a lot of times we take a lot of things for granted and i want to let y'all know that first of all i want to tell y'all stay prayed up if you thinking about joining the army and the military because it is no joke because at any point you could be sent to war whether you're like me a 42 alpha a cook whatever you don't never know so stay prayed up so that if you do have to go to war i believe in prayer and prayer works but if you do have to go to war or something you do find yourself in a life or death situation if you stay prayed up i honestly believe that god will cover you 
Because it, it, it's no joke dying, y'all. It's no joke getting killed. It is no joke losing your life, let alone losing your soul if you're not ready to meet the Father. So what I'm saying is, y'all need to stay prayed up. Because we don't know these secret weapons people have in these other countries. We don't know if we're going to go to war. We don't know. And we take things for granted a lot in America. God has truly been good to this country. They turn their back on God, going against everything God said in marriage and households. And everything is just violently wicked these days. And they don't fear God. But the, the Bible is revealing itself. It's going to be wars and wars. I don't know. I'm not having like some straight up prophecy. I'm just telling y'all what I seen in the dream. And I ain't really understand what was going on. I just prayed and I was like, Lord, I don't know. Well, I don't know if this was something I'm seeing that's going to happen or if it was just a crazy dream because I'd be watching all these spiritual uh, videos on YouTube and these people are deep and anointed in Christ. So I don't know what was going on. So I used to have a lot of uh, deep spiritual and prophetic dreams when I was younger. I don't have them no, not much as I'm older. And I know one of the reasons is because I don't pray and fast like I need to. But I did, I did see that. And I know we are about to go, or I'm, I'm assuming we could go to war. The Bible says wars are going to come. So we know wars are coming anyway. Not just for Ukraine and Russia, but probably worse stuff. And these people are probably coming up with these robots and massive device, um, massive enemy attack devices so if y'all find yourself in that place if you're active duty you need to stay prayed up because you don't know what situation you might find yourself in you need to stay prayed up because what if you're out there it's not a joke it's not a game um take it serious but if you stay prayed up if you ask god to cover you keep you under his blood no matter what to bring you out alive i said i know that he will do it Y'all, a prayer go a long way. It might just save your life in a time of trouble, in a time of war, in a time of disaster, in a time of turmoil, in a time of havoc and danger and chaos. Fearing God and worshiping and reverencing him and asking him to protect you and cover him under your blood. No matter what state you're in, just humbling yourself before God goes a long way. So I'm telling y'all to stay prayed up and don't take things for granted. Don't take, pray about everything before you do it. Pray and act before you go active duty. Ask God to let his will for your life. Because it, 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 it can involve some stuff. I mean, that's some years of your life that you give into the army. And, you know, you need to make sure that's what he wants you to do at that time. So you need to pray about these things. Because these things are serious. So y'all saints out there, the real saints, keep me uplifted in your prayer. Now that I did my crusty face video, I'm about to make sure I'm going to put on a little bit of makeup. But you don't need it. Y'all young girls out there that grew up like me. Oh, Pentecostal and save what few of those that are left and as many that are left. And I ain't talking about like strictly all extra religious. I'm talking about the ones that's like me and look on the TV. You know, half them people don't even look the same without their makeup and weave. So we all around here looking the same. And there's some people that don't even need it. They just drop, not drop dead gorgeous, but they really are just gorgeous. But just love whoever God made you. Nothing wrong with love and beauty. Just don't be vain about it. Honor God in, in all his ways. Don't glorify this stuff. This makeup and stuff and all that stuff is fake. This is the real me. Take off my wig and blah, blah, blah. Really, the real me is no relaxer, no nothing. That's the real me. God loves me before I get all dolled up. People love people because they're beautiful, because they're gifted. God loves us just the way he made us. We're supposed to use everything we have for him. So stay prayed up and don't take anything for granted. God bless y'all. Because um, you don't know what perilous times are coming. So don't take it for granted. Honor God and stay prayed up. Because it's getting serious out here. It's getting really serious. All right. <sighs>